Hey guys, it's the beginning of May. Well, anyways, the last couple days I've had temperatures reach over 100 degrees inside my greenhouse. And I also need the extra room for uh, for my tomatoes. So I came to the decision I'm going to move this uh, little cracky tote outside. So here we go. All right, we're going to do a little close up here. Still getting some, uh, a few uh, red berries and got a whole bunch more coming in. And, uh, You'll probably hear my kids scream in the background. I got cartoons going on. It's a little chaos, but uh, man, this plant, these plants are huge, getting really tall. And uh, of course, they, this is way, way too small of a container for uh, what I'm trying to do here. But um, it was an experiment. I didn't think it'd go this well, so um, definitely, uh, when I do this again, it'll be a bigger tote, and I'll be spacing the plants uh, a lot farther apart. Well, while I was doing my close-up, I noticed I had some older leaves, and uh, I just want to kind of show you guys how I prune these or what I kind of look for. But um, usually, I wait till they get a little bit browner before I prune them. But um, I went ahead and, and pruned these anyways. Pretty fancy camera or uh, scissor work, left-handed. I'm horrible with my left hand, but uh, what are you doing trying to hold the camera? But basically, this helped helps promote growth so I do a little pruning here and there. Well I believe I started this project on March 9th and so right around 60 days and I believe the PPM was right around 500, 570 so and right now we're 178 and that's pretty low so um, you can tell the strawberries are really light feeders we've only went down about 400 PPM so that's something to think about if you're going to grow uh, strawberries and hydroponics. All right, let's take take a look at the reservoir. So, I haven't had haven't added any nutrients, and only thing I've, I've topped it off probably three or four times in the last six months. But overall, it doesn't look really uh, too bad for uh, not changing the water out. Got my kids helping today. Here, here, here they are uh, cleaning up the reservoir. There's Henry eating an apple one hand and hose in the other. Right here, I'm drilling some holes for the overfill. Um, I'm putting these outside so You're if good. it starts raining. I don't, I don't want the reservoir to flood out and the, and the plants to drown. Two! Yep, two holes. Alright, well, I decided to recess this into the soil there, and for a couple reasons, help keep it cool and help keep the temperatures uh, from having big uh, temperature swings and stuff like that. So, this is my daughter, Henry. They really seem like this project, and uh, there we go, just throwing in, in the nutrients. I'm using a 10 8 22 from Hydro Farms. I believe it's called the hot. Hobby formula and uh, watched a video from Brock Hughes last week and uh, he's trigger. he came up with this little paint mixer so I'm gonna give her a shot and it seems to be working really good so mix up the nutrients and the kids are fighting over the grill. Check out those roots. Um, they look really healthy. I was really surprised uh, how well this, this is going with no air pumps or anything but uh, overall roots look awesome, plants look awesome. Well, right now I got everything uh, set up and moved, and right now I'm running, running right around 870. So I'm gonna try to go another uh, two or three months without changing the water and just topping off when the the rest starts get, getting low. Uh, you can see I recessed her down, packed up the soil, not too high. I was worried about the uh, soil getting to the reservoir. Well, guys, when I first started this, I had no idea how it, it was gonna do. Uh, John from Indoor Hydrophonics, he said he's tried it and uh, he seemed he said it seemed to do pretty good. So, um, but uh, I, I had no idea they'd uh, they'd be doing this this well without no air, no pumps, or anything like that. So, uh, so now um, for the summer and have it recessed into the ground, I don't see any reason why these uh, these won't make it the whole summer. So, all right, guys, just want to show you what was going on and uh, take care and have a good one. And thanks again for watching.